creepy DMV employee is stalking my girlfriend, 26F. I want to get him fired, she wants me to leave it alone. My GF is really beautiful and just gets lots of attention from other guys nonstop. I don't usually let it bug me, she's never given me any reason to doubt her, but I'm reaching my wits end with a situation over the past couple weeks. She went to the DMV recently to deal with getting a new real ID. The guy working the counter was a bit too flirty with her, told her she was pretty, asked her if she had a boyfriend, etc. She gets that a lot and just let it slide. It's gotten very weird since then. He sent her flowers at both her parents' address, the address on her license, and at her office, which means he must have written down the info off her ID and also looked her up. She thought the flowers to her office were from me, and when I said they weren't, we both got weirded out. He's also found her IG and followed her. When she blocked him, a couple days later he added her on Snap. I'm not happy about this. I want to drive down there and confront him, or at least speak to his supervisor. He needs to be fired emo this is psychotic behavior, he's literally a public employee misusing. Government resources to stalk a customer. GF keeps trying to talk me out of it. She says I don't get how it is to be a woman in her position, she's always dealt with this kind of behavior, it's creepy but more common than I realize and it'll be far less dramatic if we both just ignore it. I just can't accept that some jerk using her personal info to stalk her is normal. For her sake and that of any other women coming into that DMV office I want him gone. Pretty sure this is illegal. Also, you think this is the only girl he's doing this to? He's abusing the power at his job and is more than likely a criminal. She needs to file a police report. It starts out as this but this man has her parents' address and work location. If you talk to his supervisor and he's fired he has absolutely nothing to lose. Men go and kill women for far less. Please op be safe about this. I know your GF gets a lot of unwanted attention but this goes beyond unwanted. I'd be worried about her, her family's safety. People are getting bolder and more unhinged with time. Report it to his supervisor, have screenshots ready and document everything. I would also file a non-emergency documentation report with police. This is stalking and it has already escalated far past any point of just ignore him and he will leave. He is monitoring her address and continues to increase his boundary overstepping every time a boundary is asserted, e.g. blocking etc. She will be in danger once he figures out she doesn't want him. Or, you will be. I had a stalker in college and he started showing up outside my childhood home at midnight. He looked up my address in the white pages directory. My older brother and his friends grabbed him and cornered him. Cops got involved. Finally ended. Again. Your girlfriend is in danger by ignoring this. Op. Please show this to your girlfriend and ask her permission to report it to DMV supervisor in private, with an anonymity request, for her safety. I used to work for a DMV. This guy is violating the Driver's Privacy Protection Act. The reason for this law was due to creepy dudes at DMVs stalking women. There are too many instances where police officers abuse the license plate system to run the plates when the driver is sexually attractive. Police computer systems now record who runs what license plate to track abuse not that the agency will do anything about it. Requirements for real ID require the DMV to have absolute certainty who is entering the data. So the DMV knows exactly who this guy is. Several of the 911 hijackers bribed DMV employees for credentials. Don't let them pretend otherwise. Link 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 let your GF read the links. Then do what she wants. If she wants to push for prosecution or firing the dude, find out if your state has an ombudsman that handles DMV issues. Start with them. Also, find out the name of the head of the DMV, or whatever the agency is called in your state. Make sure that the head of the agency is cc'd on any emails this is going to make sure that people can't hide. This person is probably appointed by the governor. And they'll never know whether. A ton of bricks is going to land on them. I would guess she's worried about you making things worse by confronting him. I get it, I'd want to beat his ass, but you need to respect her wishes enough to not take it that far. That said, absolutely 100% talk to his supervisor. There's no chance she's the only person he's behaving this way towards. He should not be in a position to have access to personal information. Just make it clear that you don't want it traced back to her.